what is a game engine? It's basically just like a set of tools that makes game creation easier, and I want to make one. Now, I know what half of you are thinking, just use Unity or Unreal. Why are you making an engine? It's just a waste of time. But honestly, I really don't care. All my side projects I do are for me. I do this because I enjoy it along with the lessons that I learn along the way. Anyways, since this is my first engine, I would rather learn by doing and searching for what I need when I need it instead of getting into the theory of engines or following a tutorial series from beginning to end to do it all. It's much more fun to get something on the screen at first and make something playable instead of trying to perfectly architect something from the start, which I know I'm not capable of. So the next time I create an engine or if I refactor this one, I'll be much more prepared to architect it better as I will actually have some practical experience working at this stuff. The goal of this video is to start creating the basic tools I will need to create a simple 2D game to submit for, for a game jam. So I have to create animations, physics, collisions, UI, and so much more. Also, did I mention that I'm using a language called Julia? If you're ready for that, let's get into it. I already have a base project that I started about a year ago. I'm using Julia with a framework called SDL2. Creating windows, reading input, and playing audio are just a few of the things that you can do with this. The goal is to create a program that utilizes these and abstracts the functions enough so that we can easily create games with it. With my initial work, I just got as far as being able to render stuff on the screen, create a character that can move and collide with objects. I ran into an issue though. If someone wanted to play my game, they would have to download the Git repo and compile it themselves. Another problem is that most of the code I wrote was not modular enough to be reusable, but now I figured out how to build these games out to an EXE so other people can play them. My goal is to build out this engine so I can make simple 2D game to submit to a game jam. Before that, I'll recreate one of my games as best as I can to work out any kinks, so we'll need to add some features to this engine. And I want to actually make a good game, so top 20 in whatever jam I choose will be my goal. And it's not going to be a jam with 15 people. Let's talk about why I selected Julia. Julia is a language that can be described as written like Python, but as fast as C. That really stuck with me when I heard it. I thought that would be cool for game devs as they would be able to use something easier to write than C, but still have some of the performance benefits. I also like the idea of creating something in a space that is very barren. There are only a handful of game engines in Julia right now, and I don't think any of them are being actively developed on. It'd be cool to get into the space and create a tool for people who enjoy Julia. After working with it and understanding it a bit, I actually do enjoy coding with Julia. If things go well, I think I'll continue to work on this engine after the jam and continue to add more features. So let's talk about input. The way the input works is we use something called SDL key states. Essentially, at any given moment, we are checking if any keys are pressed on the keyboard. If a player presses a key, then it goes into an array of pressed keys. The player movement script reads from the array and checks for the inputs it needs in the array and does the corresponding action based on that. Once the key is lifted, then we remove it from the array. The camera was something that took me a few hours to implement because I was struggling with it just getting it following the player. But I got it good enough. The next step will be adding a background Im image for the camera and hopefully I'll be able to add something like parallax because that would really put it over the top. For physics, I went ahead and tried to emulate a rigid body for Unity. Then I use a tutorial for simple collisions. All of my colliders are boxes, and, and so if one, one side of a box intersects another side of a box, then we register a collision, and then we can correct the object position if it's overlapping with another, if it's a rigid body. Halfway through working on this, I decided to read Lazy Foo's SDL tutorials because I started having trouble with handling input properly. The way I've been working so far is either trying to imitate how I think Unity might be doing the things behind the scenes or using some random tutorials to work on things. This has gotten me pretty far, but LazyFoo has some great tutorials that I can follow and I've already used a few to get where I'm at. So I decided to bite the bullet and work through all of the ones that have features that I think I might need. The hard part about this is translating it from C++ to Julia and then also abstracting the features the way I want to at the same time for my engine. So the next video, I'll finish up working through those tutorials and create the UI system. After that, I will document recreating one of my previous game jams with it the best that I can. Bye.